Hey everybody, it's Patrick Grosser with Fathom Realty. This is your Cincinnati real estate market update for week 47, 2020. And before I jump into the numbers this week, I just wanted to clear the air about the COVID lockdowns restrictions that we're seeing across many businesses in the Cincinnati area, both Ohio and Kentucky. Uh, for real estate, we're still doing business as usual of course, with additional precautions and procedures to make sure we can do so safely. If you're casually looking for a home or thinking about selling, obviously you don't wanna jump into the market right now and take unnecessary risk. But if right now is the right time for you to make a move for your personal life, I wouldn't recommend delaying that due to these restrictions. There's plenty of things we can do like wearing masks and sanitizing hands um, to, and, and limiting to private showings to decrease your risk of exposure to COVID and do so safely to buy and sell. Again, I would personally recommend if it's the right time for you to move, don't be scared off by these restrictions. Now jumping into the numbers for this week, new listings are up over 16% versus this week last year. Closings are up nearly 5%. Average sale price is up over 7.5%. Average days on market is down over 40%. And the absorption rate is once again at an all-time record high, this time for the sixth week in a row, at 44.09%, which translates to 2.27 months worth of homes. So once again this week, although there's some ups and downs, and week to week there's bigger changes than other weeks, overall we're seeing week to week the, the trend is that the market is extremely tight which means demand is very high and supply is very low. So again, it's quote unquote, a seller's market. If you're thinking about selling your home, the market is certainly in your favor, but you still need to do everything right in order to sell quickly for top dollar. So you need to market your home effectively by doing the right repairs, the right upgrades for the best return on your investment. You need to clean and stage your home properly for professional photography. You need to make sure your listing quality is top notch in terms of photography and ad copy, and also that it's getting published not only in the MLS, but all the consumer sites and apps, and also on social media to attract the most potential buyers to your listing to get the most showings and the most offers. You also need to understand each step of the selling process after you get under contract to make sure you can get that buyer to the closing table. Lots of deals don't go through because the agents um, that are working with the sellers or if the sellers are working on their own don't properly navigate the inspection contingency, the repair negotiations, even sometimes issues with the appraisal or even issues with the financing for the buyer. So you want to make sure that you're up to speed on that and that you're working with a professional if you choose to do so that understands each step and how to navigate that as well. You also need to make sure that you understand all of your options. Right now, as a home seller, there's more options than ever to sell your home. So you don't have to work with an agent. You can even sell without any showings through an iBuyer. You can sell your house as is for cash right now or within a few days to a week and close very quickly. You also may want to consider for sale by owner if it interests you doing it on your own and saving some money. You just want to know what the process is what some of the common pitfalls are so that you don't make the same mistakes that other for sale by owner clients do. Also, you can take a look at working with a limited service or flat fee agent. You can look at working with a traditional agent, or you can even get a custom strategy, which is what I do for my clients, where you can choose from a menu of services and you can only pay for the services that you need. So as a home seller, there's a lot of options. You want to make sure you understand each one of those. Click on the link below or above in the description. I have a few different videos that goes through marketing your home, understanding and executing the selling process and reviewing all of your options to make sure that you take advantage of the market conditions right now and sell your home quickly for top dollar. If you're thinking about buying a home, like I mentioned, the market is extremely tight. Inventory is very short. There's lots of buyers out there competing with you to find your dream home. So you need to make sure if you haven't already, that you're getting listing alerts via email the instant that a listing that matches your criteria hits the market. That way you're the first to know about it. You can contact your agent, you can go see the property immediately. If you like it, you can write an offer right away. 
Speaking of the offer, you need to make sure that the offer puts you in the best position to win the house. Because if it's a nice house and it's priced properly, you're probably going to not be the only one offering. So you want to make sure you understand how to position yourself in the best light in a multiple offer situation so that the seller chooses you. This is something that I'm very familiar with. My clients, I've walked them through the process and I execute this every day with them. Not only how to be the first to know about new listings, but also how to win in multiple offers. So if you're interested in some of those tips and strategies to succeed in this tough buyer's market, click on the link below or above in the description. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next week.